Hey yo, welcome back to the YouTube video. And today, we're gonna be doing a Bob Boss tutorial. I have my paint here. I think that's five brushes for five dollars. Then I got this thingy, because I wanted it to feel cool. I'm left-handed, so... Yeah, you got the... Yeah. By the way, I don't have liquid white, so I don't have the beginning thing. So I don't know if that's. <laughs> I keep looking here when the camera's there. Yo, Bobby! Oh my God! Wow! Wait, let me change shirts. Take a little bit of the Indian yellow. Which one's Indian yellow? Which one's Indian yellow? Um, I don't have Indian yellow, so I'm gonna just use um gold. Get in there. Let's go right up here. Maybe we'll have a beautiful little sky that's just full of warm colors. And as I say, sort of makes you feel good when you look at it. So I'm making you look. That's not Indian yellow. The first color he uses, I don't have. Wait! How is he already on the. I think I need more paint. SOS? SO, what does SOS mean? I know it's like an emergency thing. Um, so how's your day been? How's the how's your girlfriend or boyfriend or or um any yeah? Wait a minute, who are you? I haven't painted anything since the eighth grade in art class, so don't judge me. This technique, I will reflect a little left color right down into the water. Actually, after not cleaning the brush, just going to a little bit of the of the yellow ochre. Once again. Wait! Still making a little crisscross stroke. Little X's. Just like that. Making a little bit of yellow ochre. Time to get crazy. Time to get crazy. Let's go right into the bright red. And still, we haven't washed the brush. Head up here. Making a little X's, little crisscross strokes. We'll add a little bit of that. And red's such a warm color. It just makes you feel good when you look at it. it makes you happy. You almost can't help it. <laughs> Glad you're happy. It just sort of warms up your whole thing. But too much of it will set your world on fire. So all we want is just a nice pinkish, reddish glow up here in the sky. So I definitely put too much red. Yeah, we'll take a little bit of the thalo blue and lizard and crimson, mix them together. Thalo blue, that's um. Let's go right up in here. And with that color, sort of a lavender color, we'll just we'll just fill in the top of the sky. It's strictly and completely up to you. Maybe. Maybe I'll tell you what, look here. Add a little bit more color to it, just by tapping. There he is. So you can just let it go. Let your imagination take you wherever you want to go. I have no imagination! Down here in the bottom of the bucket that I scrubbed the brush against and we'll shake it off. <laughs> and just beat the devil up. That really is the... Let's build us a little mountain. For that, we'll use some black. Black. Prussian blue. Prussian blue. Lizard and crimson. Listen. Maybe some Van Dyke brown. Okay, four colors. It's gang, gang. Gang, gang. Lizard and crimson. Little Van Dyke brown. Pull the paint on as flat as you can get it. Really get tough with it. Cut across, get our little roll of paint blizz right on the edge of the knife. Now you have to make your first major decision. Where does your mountain live? Maybe in our world? Yep, it does now. Our mountain lives right there. With a very firm pressure, just literally push the paint right into the fabric, right into the fabric. This is a chance to really get tough. You see that? I'm an artist! Also an excellent way here of laying out your whole mountain by pulling it in the direction like this downward 
You can begin laying out all the different ideas for highlights and shadows in your mountain. Right there. That's no problem. No, no pressure. No way! Just be a whisper that floats across here. Very delicate. And by applying no pressure, it allows this pair. A little shadow right underneath there. Okay. Um. Yeah. Straight up basura. While I'm watching this, um, might as well just strap the like and you could hit the red subscribe button. It's free, you know. You um, you had you you. After 30 minutes of trying to, <laughs> let's do this. You begin seeing things here. I like to have a lot of depth in my paintings, so but we'll just put another little range of mountains right here. Another one. Blend them out. There we go. A little white, a little bit of that mountain color. Mix them together. And just sort of pushing the brush. No matter what, white. Just use the corner of the brush as you work down a tree. Push harder and harder, bending the bristles. Down here. Wait, why is there? Really getting tough. We're just bending There's all the way down to the furrow. Green there. Get tough. Whoa, what's this? I had this and no one told me. Really, all we're trying to do here is show you a technique. We use no patterns and no tracings. Strictly up to you because you can learn to compose as you paint. If you, after you've done a dozen paintings or so, you won't believe what you can do. A dozen. Things that happens just come across. But when you pull this down, oh, so gentle. Right back in here, no pressure. Just like putting snow. On um, I've seen my YouTube and analytics, and I've seen like. The half of you aren't subscribed, so what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button, it's free. I'm not, like, look at me. I've absolutely never met anyone who could not paint. Me? Well, you didn't meet me. I really hope you've enjoyed this painting. It's one that We're done? Pleasure, because of all the colors, makes you feel good in here. And from all of us here, I'd like to wish you a happy painting, and God bless my friend. Let me finish, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, like I was saying, um, if there's one thing we all learned, it's that I'm not an artist. Um, there's no shading. This is, that's purple, but the trees came out nice-ish. But it was fun. Um, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what other videos you want to see me do. I'm Adrian, I'm not an artist, I'm not Bob Ross, and um, have a good day.